Hi everyone and welcome back to Belinda's DIYs. If this is your first time here, I want to welcome you. In this video, I'll be creating this adorable lighted lamppost lantern. I can't wait to show you how easy it was to create this. I just want to tell you that from the top of this lantern to the bottom of this lantern is all Dollar Tree items. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. For the base, I'm going to be using this Dollar Tree bucket and this was something that I purchased back in the summertime, but you can use any type of bucket as long as it's plastic. I'll also be using this Dollar Tree handle and this holds either a broom or a mop. Okay, so what I've done is turn my bucket upside down and I'm going to be making a hole on the center. Now I need the hole to be as wide as my handle, so that's why I'm tracing around it. Now to create the hole, I'm gonna be using my glue gun, and all I'm gonna do is just put the tip inside the circle, and then just let the heat of the glue gun melt the plastic, and it'll start creating a bigger and bigger hole. Next, I'm going to be spray painting my base and I'm going to be using this spray and go fast dry enamel in the color red. I'll be taking it outside, let it dry and then bring it back inside and continue with my project. I'm also going to be using a pool noodle in the color red. Now what I want to do is make it look like a candy cane. So I'm going to be using some white duct tape. I'm going to go ahead and place my duct tape up at the top and then I'm just going to wrap the duct tape around my pool noodle as you see me do there. And this is how it turned out. For the top of my lamppost, I'm going to be using this Dollar Tree clear ornament and I'm also going to be using some of these fairy lights also from Dollar Tree. I'm going to go ahead and remove the ornament holder and keep it off and then I'm going to insert the fairy light wire inside my ornament. And to keep the wire from coming out, I'm just going to add a dab of hot glue there on the side of the ornament and let the wire adhere to the glue. Next, I'll be taking my handy knife and just cut a slit on one side of the pool noodle as you see me do right there. And I'll go ahead and add my ornament up at the top and I'm able to slip my wire through that slit. But first, I'm going to add the remainder of the wire down the opening of the pool noodle as you see me do there. And that way it's hidden and you won't be able to see it. Next, I'm going to hot glue the battery box right underneath where I made the slit. And as you can see, the battery switch is right there at the top so it's easy to access it. Next, I'm going to create a bow using my Easy Bow Maker that I also DIY'd a while back. I'll go ahead and link that video up above and down below in case you're interested in how to create this Easy Bow Maker. Well, as you can see where the battery is, is the back side and now I'm going to apply my bow to the front of my lamp post. What I did is I extended my pipe cleaners just so they would be long enough to wrap around my lamp post and at the same time it gives my battery pack just an extra hold wrapping the pipe cleaner around the back side. And then to make sure that my bow wouldn't move around, I added some hot glue and then to give it a little bit more decorative look to it, I added some greenery and some red berries. So the paint is dry on my base and this is how it turned out and now I'm ready to assemble my whole lamp post. So on my handle it has this top handle and what I'm going to do is remove it and I'm going to be placing this side down into my 
base. Now, after that I insert my handle into my base, I'm gonna add some hot glue all around as you see me do there, and that'll give it extra hold. And now I'm just gonna hold it for a while until the glue hardens. Next, I'm gonna add a dab of hot glue to my ornament and that way it'll stick to the top of my pool noodle. I had forgotten to do that. And now I'm ready to slip my pool noodle into my handle. Lastly, I added some garland ties on the top and bottom of my base. Well, that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and also share. I'd really appreciate it. You have yourself a very blessed day. And until my next video, bye-bye and God bless.